May of 1974. Richard Pryor, May of 1974, the greatest comedian of all time, Richard Pryor, releases that go crazy. 33 Minute Stand Up Comedy Album wins a Grammy. The album went on to become number one on Billboard R&B Soul for four weeks. Richard Pryor was that dude. Richard Pryor was that dude. Richard Pryor was that dude. May of 1974, Richard Pryor releases that N-word crazy. That N-word, but he didn't say N-word. He said the word. That N-word crazy. A 33-minute stand-up comedy album wins a Grammy. And the album went on to become number one on Billboard R&B Soul for four weeks. Richard Pryor was that dude. David Chappelle is that dude. Richard Pryor was that dude. David Chappelle was that dude. But I got one problem with Richard Pryor and David Chappelle. I have one problem with Richard Pryor and David Chappelle. Let me clear that up. I got two problems with Richard Pryor and David Chappelle. And the same two problems I have with Richard Pryor are the same two problems I have with David Chappelle. And the problems that Dr. Umar has with Richard Pryor and David Chappelle is that both of them normalized the N-word in American slang. David Chappelle is normalizing the N-word in American comedy. I don't like the fact that Richard Pryor and David Chappelle, although they were two of the most politically progressive comedians, Richard Pryor and David Chappelle's genius is that they use comedy as a medium to communicate the political contradictions of white supremacy. The brilliance of Richard Pryor and the brilliance of Dave Chappelle is that they use comedy as a medium to attack the white power structure. But And I, I salute them for that. I salute them for that. But the problem with Richard Pryor and the problem with Dave Chappelle, they have made the N-word too comfortable of a word to be used around white folks. That's number one. That's number one. Dave Chappelle, stop using the N-word, my brother. Not every day, all day. You use the N-word too much. That is a mistake, my brother. Richard Pryor made the same mistake. The second mistake that they both made is they married non-African women. The second mistake of Richard Pryor and Dave Chappelle. The second mistake of Richard Pryor and Dave Chappelle is they both dedicated their life to a non-African woman. Those are my issues. I'm not going to throw out the baby with the bathwater. I'm not going to throw out the baby with the bathwater. I'm not going to throw out the baby with the bathwater. But popularizing the N-word and marrying a non-African woman makes it difficult for me to hold those brothers up as role models for our children. I'm just being honest. It would be difficult for me to hang up Richard Pryor's photo or David Chappelle's photo in the school. I will teach about them because they are black history. Our children will learn about them and their contributions because they made a good contribution. But I can't hang them up in the school because of your popularization of the N-word and your snow bunny crisis and your snow bunny crisis. On June 15th, 1974, one year after the DEA is founded, tokenism, June 15th, 1974, one year after the DEA is founded, megastar Bill Cosby, Richard Pryor, Sidney Poitier, and Harry Belafonte in a blockbuster movie, megastars Bill Cosby, Richard Pryor, Sidney Poitier, and Harry Belafonte and Flip Wilson star in a comedy crime film, Uptown Saturday Night. Uptown Saturday Night was released on June 15, 1974. It grossed $7 million and made the list of the top 50 highest grossing films of all time coming in at number three just three months after its release. Black exploitation. Black exploitation tokenism. 
black exploitation tokenism. I love the movie. Don't get me wrong. I love Uptown Saturday Night. Bill Cosby, Richard Pryor, Sidney Poitier, Harry Belafonte, Flip Wilson, star in Uptown Saturday Night. Seven million dollars. Top 50 highest grosser movie of all time at that time and went on to become number three. Excuse me, went on to become number three in three months after its release. But Richard Pryor, white wife. Sidney Poitier, white wife. Harry Belafonte, white wife. I'm going to say it again. Richard Pryor, white wife. Sidney Poitier, white wife. Harry Belafonte, white wife. I don't know if Flip Wilson had a white wife. I don't know. Somebody let me know. Do the research. Did Flip Wilson have a white wife? Did Flip Wilson have a white wife? Bill Cosby, say what you want. He married a black woman. Bill Cosby, say what you want. He married a black woman. Bill Cosby, say what you want. He married a black woman. Black College and Consciousness Tour, don't forget, Black College and Consciousness Tour coming up. I will have the information in the new year. 11 to 17, one trip, 18 to 25, second trip. Boys and girls, 11 to 17, one trip, 18 to 25, second trip. We will be going for one week or two weeks. I haven't decided yet. The first college tour, we were going for two weeks. The first college tour, we were going for two weeks. If you want to take the course of Pan-Africanism, you must email me. If you want to take the course of Pan-Africanism, it is a one-year course from January the 8th of 2022 until January the 1st of 2023. There will be 18 class meetings. Okay, 18 class meetings. Six of them will be face-to-face. -face. The other 12 will be by Zoom. 18 class meetings, six will be face to face. That's when you take your exams and do your field trips. That's when you take your exams and do your field trips. You must email Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com. If you want to join my organization, Team Pan African, if you want to join my organization, Team Pan African, the International Movement for the Independence and Protection of African People, you must also send an email, Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com or Team Pan African with a C at yahoo.com or Team Pan African with a C, no hyphen. With a C, Team Pan African at yahoo.com. If you want to take the class and be a part of Team Pan African, you can put that in one email. Shout out to Baba David Barnes, New World View. Next Sunday, we on Baba next Sunday. Appreciate the love. Baba David came out to the first annual FDMG Festival. Make sure you set your clocks for the second FDMG Festival, which will be followed by the Unapologetically African Awards. Two events on the same day, Wilmington, Delaware, mark your calendar. Two events on the same day, Wilmington, Delaware, mark your calendar. The second annual FDMG Festival, Saturday, September the 10th. First annual Unapologetically African Awards. It is a red carpet suit and tie. Excuse me. It is a red carpet black tie or African formal. Red carpet black tie, African formal. Ladies, get that dress and get them heels out. Get that pocketbook and that lipstick ready. Ladies, get that dress in them heels out. Get that pocketbook and that lipstick ready for the red carpet at the first annual Unapologetically African Awards. Brothers and sisters.